Hey class, it's Miss Carpenter, and I'm here to navigate you through our second Bitmoji classroom. Remember to let me know how you like it. Okay, there's a few things that you have on here. If you click me, it'll be the video that I'm making right now. I guess I can stop saying that, right? Um, we'll be writing a friendly letter today, and we'll also be looking at our digital notebook and getting familiar with it. Uh, let me go ahead and show you. All you have to do is click the picture of the notebook. You will be prompted to make a copy. And then you have it. And then once you share that with me, I will always have it. Or you can turn it in on Schoology. We'll see how it best works. I think turning it in on Schoology will be the best just because then everything is in one place and your work won't get lost. Now, this isn't the most fancy digital notebook, but I think you will find that it is practical. Um, these are all bookmarks, and so whenever you are prompted, if we're doing a writing prompt, if we're doing inquiry, uh, if we're studying a passage or a poem or a short story or a news article or anything like that, uh, there's vocabulary here that's the word nerd. Uh, literary devices and notes are going to be anything like that we go over in class that you can paste in there. And then we also have a section for grammar. So say I'm like, okay, um, you've been reading this book and there are a bunch of unfamiliar words in it. These are the words I want you to look up. You will click word nerd and you will click the bookmark and boom, it takes you right there. Um, all of those bookmarks work that way. Um, there were some fancy digital notebooks that I saw, but it there were too many parts and pieces and I thought that it could get really confusing. So I think in this time, simple, simpler is better. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, back to my Bitmoji classroom. Um, here is a video on how to write a friendly letter. Nice and cartoon. And then of course you go over to the bookshelf. There's our passwords and everything, and if you click on this, it's a little letter, you will be prompted to make a copy of a document on which you will write your friendly letter. Now that friendly letter can be to whomever you want. It can be to somebody who is running for political office. Maybe you agree with them, maybe you disagree with them. It can be a letter thanking someone. Maybe you wanna thank your grocery store workers or postal office employees, you know, people who have been out there on the front lines since the very beginning. That would be a great idea. Maybe you want to write a grandparent. Maybe you want to write a friend. I don't know about you, but when I get something handwritten in the mail, as opposed to an email or opposed to a text, it just makes it that much more special. Um, please don't hesitate to contact me if you would like any tips and tricks or any um, suggestions as to whom to write your friendly letter to. As always, I am here and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.